Togozani, 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 Mokulu, and the Mokolo, Lissi, Mokulu, and the Mokolo, Molinting Togos, Bogogo, Libun, that in Mokolo, Abogogo, and Mokulu. to be back on your youtube screen everybody knows me as dr tash but now <laughs> right so you guys know me as dr tash welcome back to my channel you guys um it's been a while it's been a while i've even forgotten what it is that i need to say what it is that i need to do um so yeah please remember to like comment share subscribe welcome back dr tash tribe welcome to the naturally dr tash channel here on youtube yo guys i've been away for so long <laughs> it's been a while you guys um it's been a long time coming um people have been inboxing me asking me Horiman, this is not the content we signed up for. Eh? Where are you, Gogo? <laughs> Where are you, Dr. Tash? We want we need content. And um my answer is, you know what? I have been away. I have been away, you guys. I've been away on a much needed break. I've been away figuring out life. I've been away on a spiritual journey that has been a long time coming and uh so yeah my lighting is not perfect i'm in my spiritual office i hope that you guys can see me i hope that you guys can hear me that i'm audible um i am shooting this video right now with my phone um so um yeah man i know this is not going to be the best quality today but i needed to do this video my spirit was so heavy i've been thinking and i've been procrastinating uh, about putting this video out there <laughs> and uh vadimu baga was just like you know what it's time my girl it's time my girl to do the things that need to be done so uh to them bogo da bokulu to go za makhehla to go za bogo em ana le bitso la ke gogo mangadi ne right uh some people call me gogo mangadi some people call me gogo ngadi uh but uh i have recently acquired the title of being u gogo what does that mean that means uh, somebody that has a spiritual calling somebody that has you know been called to do the work of god uh somebody that has been called to do the work of my forefathers and you know the people that have come before me so that means that i don't walk alone all right so um i know people are used to calling me tash tash this tash that or doc, tash, dr tash this dr tash that um but from now on when you do address me you can say togoza togoza right because um it's a sign of respect not only for me it's a sign of respect for the people that i walk with for the spirits that i walk with for the angels that i walk with all right so uh, if you want to address me just say togoza koko and uh we shall be good from there all right so um who is gogo mangadi who's gogo mangadi meng gogo mangadi meng is a spiritual healer gogo mangadi meng is a prophet gogo mangadi meng is also an inyanga gogo mangadi meng kingaka so um some people would say yes you're classified as a sangoma 
uh, which is not totally incorrect, yes. A sangoma, which is a person that is a spiritual healer and they heal through the means of beating the drum <laughs> connecting to the drum is cool i know guys a lot has changed um i don't know if i'm nervous for doing this video um but i'm also excited at the same time um i know a lot of people have seen my social media and like they've asked themselves questions and they're like oh this is one youtube video that we can't wait to hear about you know um take us through your experience so uh in these coming videos you guys i'm going to take you through my experience of you know how i actually became a spiritual healer how i became a prophet how i became a sangoma i became a ninyanga whatever it is that you want to call it all right um i'm going to take you through my experiences i'm going to take you through the things that happened to me and how that how i saw um that i was actually being called uh to helping people in the spiritual sense so uh today's video we are going to be continuing with life is spiritual and the topic of the matter today you guys is how do you know that you're being called as a spiritual practitioner how do you know that you are supposed to become some sort of spiritual practitioner um so that could fall under many umbrellas uh how do you know you are an inyanga how do you know you're a ngaka how do you know you're a prophet how do you know you're a sangoma uh how do you know you're a priest you know how do you know you've been called to be a spiritual person a person working in the spiritual realm so first and foremost um i'd like to say this is not something that you choose this is not something that you like okay i finished my trick i'm drawn you know to the spiritual regalia i'm drawn to beads you know and you know you tick off a list and you're like but this is my thing you know what i'm saying <laughs> no guys um it doesn't work like that um you don't choose this path i'd like to believe that this path is choosing you or has chosen you that you were chosen that you were selected right to take on a particular baton all right so we need to understand that first and foremost right it's 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 a very high calling all right that comes from where it comes from the source comes from god it comes from mudimu umvelingqangi tatla major all right so you were chosen you were selected right so even in the bible they'd say no before you were formed in your mother's womb we already knew you all right you were already appointed to be a prophet all right so it's not something that you choose number one you have been chosen to do a particular thing all right and in you being chosen all right uh before you were formed in your mother's womb right <laughs> while you were still in the spiritual realm um you agreed that at this particular age in this particular lifetime you are going to be carrying out certain certain duties and you are going to become this person mosi chabe so you kind of signed a spiritual contract to say and when i come into this lifetime uh, this is what i'm going to be i'm going to be a leader i'm going to be a healer if we can understand that then we can continue all right many are called few are so true. now fine you've signed the spiritual contract and you are born Oh, when life begins to start, my friend. <laughs> life begins to happen. You go to school, you know, 
you go to university maybe you will get married yo what is it getting you are just going through life experiencing life as it comes as it is doing the normal thing right and now your spiritual team your spiritual guides um your ancestors god you know your whole spiritual team is like but listen you signed a contract my friend <laughs> you signed a contract to say that in this particular lifetime this is the person that you're going to be this is the person that you are going to become why are you not doing the things you said that you're supposed to do so this is now where you go through some sort of awakening so it is your spiritual teams um or your spiritual guides um duty to now help you to what remember and go back in time to say that remember you said you're going to do this and that remember you said you're going to be this and that the spiritual team now begins to intervene in your life so let's pick it up from there i went through my life um went through school several universities i got my degrees and everything um <clears throat> you know but during these times life started to happen all right so one of the signs that you are going to experience it's not very uncommon for the for spiritual people to go through some sort of near-death experiences all right spiritual people you guys go through the most all right and this is part of your spiritual team trying to wake you up to say that no this is not the path that you should be leading we want you to come this side right we want you to do this you said you're going to do this all right so you're going to go through near-death experiences i'm talking about illnesses all right bedridden illnesses um some people go through mental instability i particularly went through a near-death experience that almost took my life i went through a horrible accident um that took the life of many other people i think i spoke about it on my channel already it took the life of many young people you know um that had full potential and but i was one of the people who made it out alive yes i was in jet you know i would I, I had spinal surgery done on me it was hectic you guys but i came out on the other side so you will have near-death experiences. You will get into the body. You will get into the accident. You will be sick. You just don't know what is going on. Right. So you will hear a lot of sangoma say, "Oh, I'm Borgesanya. I almost like wasting. I almost lost my mind. Some people are literally sick. They can't do anything. So there's many forms in which these near-death experiences come. Some people go through horrible accidents, all right, like I did. And then you make it out alive and you heal. And you just continue to ask yourself, but why did I make it out of, you know, such a thing? And so and so didn't. Do you know what I mean? It's because um, your contract is has not been fulfilled, right? And the thing that you're still coming to do here on earth, right, uh, has not been fulfilled. And God and your ancestors, right, are on the path, number one, to help you to awaken, to realize that there's something about you. You know, you didn't die because there's something about you. We are here. We are your spiritual team. We are walking with you. Um, that's why you didn't die. All right. So you should know that you are not an ordinary person and uh, you work with spiritual forces. You work with angels. All right. That's why you, you will go through things that are almost miraculous. All right. In, in nature, you will become sick, but then still make it out alive until you find the healing that you actually require. The second thing that you will experience, um, are dreams. Dreams are the connecting language, right, between us that are in this portal and, you know, let's say the portal of the ancestors, the portal of God, all right, in that realm. Dreams are possibly one of the main ways of communication, if, not, if, if you're not seeing signs, if you're not seeing symbols and things like that. But dreams are definitely going to notify you that wake up 
all right there's something about you uh there's something that you need to take note of because remember it is your spiritual team's um hey so of course that's a mess it is your spiritual team's responsibility, you guys, to help you to awaken. All right. So they're going to contact you through dreams. They're going to give you certain instructions. So with me, I would dream heavily of being in school. And it's not just one school, you know. It's many different types of schools. Many different types of schools. And in these schools, you know, there's certain... Um, messages that come forth sometimes even instructions for do xyz or they even pose questions or did you do this xyz right um in these dreams sometimes you know you could be running you could be chased always running away from something you know this is your higher self now saying that hello remember that path that you said that you were going to take uh when you come into this lifetime well you kind of running away from it all right so being chased um things like being in school uh things like you know constantly flying these kind of dreams are alerting you that you know there's something that you need to learn you know and they might not make sense like within that that point in time because i was like but i'm already in school <laughs> I'm in medical school. I'm already in school. Why am I always dreaming of school? All right. This is not the school that they're talking about. This is the school of the ancestors. All right. This is an ancestral school. There are certain things that you need to learn or there's certain things that you are downloading spiritually that, uh, that are being taught to you. There are many, many other dreams. Um, and in this video, I'm not going to touch on but I'm talking about what I went through. And so repetitive dreams that tell you the same message over and over and over and over and over again. I believe that before other people can tell you about who you are and your spirit and, you know, who you are on a spiritual level, you are also supposed to see it for yourself. You have to see it for yourself. All right. Other people can't just see things on your behalf. You also have to see it for yourself. So dreams is the number one uh, communication <laughs> communication factor. Okay, you must dream. Again, I'm talking from my experience. So people will come tell you things about your life that you can't see. So now it's always being prophesied by different people with the, hey, especially right after my accident, um, people would come or messages would come through people, you know, that are close to me, that are far from me to say that, listen, um, God is still going to use you one day. Um, you're supposed to do this and that. You're supposed to help people. And I always get these messages and wonder, I'm like, am I going to be a pastor? You know, because also I was, you know, very, very Christianated at the time. Um, it never really clicked in my mind that, okay, this is more towards an ancestral or like a tra traditional sort of calling, you know. But there was always something now in the back of my mind that said, okay, maybe there is a greater purpose. There is a higher purpose. There is something that, you know, that still needs to be done. So people come and prophesy you and tell you about your life that X, Y, Z, you're still going to live. You're still going to do this and that. And in that moment, you know, you don't see it. Um, it's very common that <laughs> you don't see it. You don't know really like what these people are talking about. A very big indicator that you might be called again into spiritual practice, that you might be called into spiritual work. Um, People always come to you and, you know, with their problems. Uh, people feel very comfortable in telling you their problems. They feel a sense of relief when they come to tell you their problems. Um, you know, in a nutshell, problems always come find you. Because why? You're supposed to solve them. You're supposed to give people solutions, right? You're supposed to, unquote, heal people, whether it's with your words, heal the soul, whatever it is. Um, so... You just got that aura about you that says, come to me. 
people that are heavenly burdened and I who will give you strength <laughs> and I will give you strength all right so people come and tell you problems so I had this other consultation you know the other day with a client I was helping someone at a river cleansing I don't even know this person from above so but then she started just unraveling everything Jay, about her life you know and I was like yeah it's that thing you know people just feel comfortable to say that you know if I can tell this person about my problems I need to tell this person you know I, I I'm going to get something I'm going to get a source of wisdom I'm going to get healing words I'm going to get something if I can just tell this particular person about my issue so people always you know you have that energy that invites people to say okay confess your sins my child <laughs> I, this one is heavy guys um i experienced this a lot when i was growing up as well when you walk into certain spaces you know sometimes you ruffle people's feathers you know you ruffle people become a little bit uneasy you know um maybe you go through a lot of rejection in life you go through a lot of bullying in life you go through um a lot of hatred in life okay so uh this you'll especially see in young children um a gifted child is a child that is not liked you know most of the time um a gifted child is a child that's envied right a gifted child will go through bullying a gifted child will go through you know all sorts of experiences um it's kind of like in the bible when you know there was the coming of jesus you know and the king at that time heard that listen there's going to be this savior um and what did he do he ordered for all of the male children to what to be executed kill all the male children i don't want to see them here just at the mention of what of jesus's name just at the mention of what the coming of jesus the what the christ so you must know that as a spiritual person and somebody who's been called into spiritual work you're going to ruffle a lot of feathers uh, where it is that you go whether it's in, in your school whether uh, it's in your workspace is a very very common thing because it shows that what you don't walk alone there's something about you there's an energy about you there's a presence about you um that unfortunately some people cannot even withstand or fathom while you're on this path you know and now you're going through this spiritual awakening another thing that you're going to see is that things are just not working out all right because your spiritual team your spiritual guide have a way of reminding you that um you are supposed to be doing a certain thing at a particular time so you'll just see sometimes things going down south um maybe in your finances um all of a sudden things are not working out in your job all of a sudden things man are not working out at school right a lot of people with spiritual callings um don't do well in school spaces you know a lot of them that's not everybody's case i was very fortunate that you know my ancestors were lenient they wanted me to you know become educated and it is only after i finished that education or during the process of finishing that education that they were like go go right so it's not going to be the same for everyone um but there's a lot of ways in which they can losing houses losing jobs um things not going well in your studies um you've been promised marriage all right and you, things are just not working out in relationships mojolo is showing you flames <laughs> mojolo guys is showing you flames Ibile. Hi, what am I doing? I'm compromise. Wait till I compromise. You will be there in your relationship. Hey, showing you flames. We put a hore nare na kweza halangan. Your peers are getting married. Um, you know, like things are just working out, but you are there. Hmm? 
nothing's happening <laughs> there's a lot of ways in which they can get your attention all right that can make you realize that no man um i'm i'm actually now there's something wrong um there's something wrong there's a lot of ways in which they can get you to remember Hori, yes you see you said you're gonna do this and that at this particular time because just think about it um imagine now if things are going great and you're a millionaire you're not gonna listen you know to say Hori, a spirit what i must become a sangom <laughs> you're kidding me no they need to make things hard because you know it's the only way that they can get to the core of things things need to become difficult you, life needs to go upside down because in the same breath you're also going through a transformation of some sort a spiritual awakening is a very deep thing to realize that okay i'm not just natasha i'm not just dr tash you know which i acquired through degrees or you know whatever and put this title no there's a deeper part of me there's there's another side of me there's another you know part that now i need to learn and it is now the journey of within and here comes this what transformation so undergoing a transformation is a very deep thing and expect that things are just not going to work out and until you've reached that stage you guys i know so um there's so many other things that i you know i want to talk about i don't want to make this video too long but yeah those are some of the things that i saw in my experience of the things you know that will highlight you that no man you've been called somehow into some sort of spiritual work some sort of spiritual practice all right um i'd like him to delve in i'd like to delve into hey i like to do uh, <laughs> i'd like to delve into other topics um as time goes on Hore. You know maybe we can touch on certain dreams or we can touch on more signs and symbols um you know anything that really comes to my mind but today i really hope that you enjoyed this episode of life is spiritual it is me naturally dr tash aka ugogo mangari mengogo ngari ngari I'm signing out. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye. Tomasang. <laughs>